Hi, this is Brittany Droz, and welcome to another opportunity to be your best self. This is the fourth week in our holiday survival series, and I hope you're still enjoying the tips, the madness, and the festivities of the holiday season. And if you're not, I don't know how to help you. You still have a few weeks to go, so buckle down, grin, and bear it, okay? <laughs> this week's video is about giving and learning to give from the heart. So, the holidays can feel like it's all about gifts at this point, right? This is about that time where you're sneaking in trips to the mall wherever you can, looking at your list, looking at your bank account, trying to figure out how you're going to make it all happen and make everyone happy, right? But I have a sneaky suspicion that the holidays were not this way, let's say, I don't know, a few decades ago, a few hundred years ago, right? So how have these things changed? We've become so you know, materialistic in some way, but so accustomed to this is just how, how the holidays have become, probably for your lifetime, uh, same for mine. But it doesn't have to be that way. We can choose to make it different. The purpose of the holidays, I feel, is about being with the ones you love, showing them that you care, and appreciating people for all that they bring to your life. Now that may sound cheesy and corny, but for me, that's true, and think about it for yourself. Think about who you want to spend that day with. It's probably true for you, too. So how can you change your typical, you know, mall, consumerism, holiday seasonness into something different, into something more meaningful? Let's say you have someone on your list who does want that gift from the mall. How about sneaking a note in there that lets them know how much you care about them and how much you appreciate them, too? and tell your friends about this idea so that you get some notes in return, right? But it's also important that we give without expectation because if we're really giving from the heart, it's, it's true, it's honest, um, and it doesn't need to be reciprocated necessarily to the same monetary value, um, to the same number of gifts. You know, we get caught up in that stuff. So think about how you can make your gift-giving strategy different this year and actually more meaningful because years from now, it's not going to be those gifts under the tree that people remember. It's going to be the significance of um, getting a special note. It's going to be remembering the time that you spent together and the laughs. So make that part the meaningful part of your holiday season this year. Okay? And don't forget to leave that time for yourself. Think about how you really want to give these gifts and how you make this more meaningful because you deserve to have these interactions that are really significant for you. So, do your best, <laughs> give gifts from the heart, and continue to work on becoming your best self. Thanks for watching and catch you next week.